I've been obsessed with science fiction for as long as I can remember. Maybe it started when my dad made me watch Star Trek with him. Maybe the cute boys. That's right, I said it. I had a crush on Wesley Crusher and even on Jonathan Brandis' character in Sequest. Do you remember that? Why do I love it? Oh god, I can't even put my finger on all of it. I love getting into a book or a work of fiction that really just takes me away into this crazy scenario or world. Of course, you guys already know about my Doctor Who obsession. Um, oh my god, time travel script is amazing. I like thinking about genetic mutations and the scarier aspects of things. What could happen in outer space? What's life like on other planets? I think one of the first things that I read in the sci-fi genre was the Wrinkle in Time series. And what I really liked about it was that there was this strong girl character who was smart. Uh, her parents were scientists and she was into science. And she thought she was quite ordinary, but really she could do a whole lot. And that for me became kind of what I like in certain sci-fi and what I look for in uh, the books and the movies that I pick out. So flash forward to mid-90s and a little movie called Buffy the Vampire Slayer comes out and then later on a series by the same name which I boycotted for a little while because the cast wasn't the same and I loved the movie so much. I had a poster of it up in my bedroom as a child which was probably weird. Eventually I got really into it and gave it a chance and I became completely obsessed with the Buffy Whedon verse or Slayer verse. Here's a little bit of Buffy Joss Whedon related paraphernalia I own. <laughs> Of the whole universe that Joss Whedon created, what he does with his storylines and with his actors and actresses, how he uses them again and again in different things. So it's really rewarding as a fan. Loved anything having to do with that whole series because there were so many strong female characters. I mean, you had your Freds, your Faiths, your Buffy. Basically, I grew up learning to love girls kicking ass. And I think there's nothing wrong with that. Let's face it, there's girls who don't kick a lot of ass. I mean, Bella Swan, I, I don't like the weak female character in science fiction. I don't like, oh, save me, rescue me kind of female character at all. I feel like there are a few films and movies and books where you see strong female roles. <laughs> the stuff that I love. And I think if more girls knew that that was out there, they would just latch on to it and love it. So here are my top five recommendations for sci-fi reads. Number one, the C.S. Lewis sci-fi trilogy. Number two, Isaac Asimov. Either go rent iRobot or go read it. Number three, Anything by Ray Bradbury. Uh, you could check out Something Wicked This Way Comes or The Martian Chronicles. Number four, The Wrinkle in Time series by Madeline LaEngle. Number five, last but not least, my favorite, favorite sci-fi series, Ender's Game by Orson Scott Card. There's a ton of books in this series and I think you should read them all. Oh.